Hello and welcome. It's KB here. So the VMware workstation is now available for free for personal use. This is a software that I actually always use for testing different operating systems like Windows, Windows Insiders, Linux, and other Linux distros. In my opinion, this is the best virtual machine software because it is flexible and it just works whatever you throw at it. I know there is a free and open source alternative to it called VirtualBox, but in my opinion, VirtualBox is limited in terms of functionality and how much resources you can assign and all that. You know, there is even a Windows hypervisor called Hyper-V. I have a Windows 11 Pro and yes, I can use Windows Hyper-V, which is even better than the VMware in terms of performance, but it is still not flexible as the VMware. So overall, VMware is the best virtual machine software. And now it is even better because anyone can use it. Uh, so this is the official blog post when they announced that the VMware Workstation Pro is becoming free. In Mac, it is called VMware Fusion Pro. So it is also free for Mac too, and also for Linux if you use uh, Linux. But downloading this is a little bit tricky now. It doesn't work straight away. So let's say you go to the official website, click on Download Fusion or Workstation. It opens a new page and here you need to create an account and sign in. Uh, because now they are hosting all of their products uh, in Broadcom. So to create an account, go at the top where it says login, expand this and click on register. And then enter your email here and verify the captcha here and hit next. So let's actually do this. I'm going to put my email there. That is the captcha. I'm going to go next. Can I have to verify this? Open your email. There you'll find your verification code okay and put that code in there and hit verify and fill out this form and in next page you can click on i'll do it later and it will take you here the support.broadcom.com page now close everything and go back to the vmware website and click on the download link again now this time you just have to log in with your account that you just created in username put your email that you used put your password and click on sign in once you sign in it will take you to this page there is nothing and there is no way to download like where do you find this this is a bit complicated but don't worry that's why i'm here so to the left side go to dashboard okay click on dashboard here you'll see a search search the entire site you need to search here for vmware workstation pro Okay, S click on that option. As you search, it will uh, actually show you the uh, VMware Pro uh, uh, software. Now click on this title. Now it will open this new document. If you need to, you can read all these, but scroll down here, you'll find the download links for the VMware Workstation Pro. Click on this first link. Second one is documentation and first one is for the downloads. Okay, click on the first link which will open another link and here you can download the vmware if you're using linux download for linux if you're using windows download for windows so i'm using windows i'm gonna click on this one i'm gonna click on that it will expand that selection and it will show you different versions of vmware so you need to download the latest one so as of making this video this is the latest one 17.5.2 click on that now it's going to open another page and here you'll see a download link here to the right okay but you can't download it because you need to click on this i agree to uh, Broadcom terms and conditions. Once you do that, you can download this. So you just have to click on this and it will say additional verification is required. So you have to click on yes. Now you need to complete this form, your address, your city and state. So let me do that quickly. Once you fill out this form, you have to click on submit. And once you do that, it will take you back to the download page here again you have to click on this download button when you hover your mouse here it will say https download so click on that and now it should 
download the software. So you can see here it's downloading and we're just gonna have to wait a few seconds. So downloading this is now a bit difficult for new users. Uh, but uh, since now you can use this for free for personal use, I think it's worth it. As I said again, this is, uh, in my opinion, the best virtual machine software that you can use. Okay, It's overall the best software. So once downloaded, go to your downloads folder and you'll find the file. Just run it to install it and install it just like you install the other programs and run the program once you run it it will ask you for a license key but there is a option called use vmware workstation 17 for personal use so select that option now you don't have to enter any license key so click on continue finish and there you have it yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.